Ice cream production process and factories. Step 1. Ingredient selection and mixing. The primary ingredients used in ice cream production include dairy products, whole milk, skim milk, cream, and sometimes condensed or powdered milk, sweeteners, sugar, corn syrup, or artificial sweeteners, stabilizers and emulsifiers. These improve texture, prevent ice crystal formation, and help distribute fat evenly. Common stabilizers include guar gum and carrageenan, while lecithin is a common emulsifier. Flavorings, vanilla, chocolate, fruit purees or other extracts are used to give ice cream its unique taste. Other add-ins nuts, cookie pieces, candy chunks or chocolate chips are added later in the process. Mixing process. All these ingredients are blended together in large stainless steel tanks. The mixing is done at a controlled temperature to ensure uniform consistency and prevent lumps. Step 2. Pasteurization, killing bacteria and ensuring safety. After mixing, the ice cream base is heated to a high temperature, around 82 to 85 degrees Celsius or 180 to 185 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 to 20 seconds. This process kills harmful bacteria and extends the product's shelf life. Rapid cooling. After pasteurization, the mixture is quickly cooled to 2 to 5 degrees Celsius or 35 to 41 degrees Fahrenheit to prevent bacteria from growing. Step 3. Homogenization, improving creaminess. The pasteurized mixture is passed through a homogenizer, a machine that applies high pressure to break down fat molecules. This process prevents fat separation and ensures the ice cream has a smooth, creamy texture. Why homogenization is important? It prevents a greasy texture by evenly distributing fat globules. It helps the ice cream absorb air properly, making it light and fluffy. It enhances the overall consistency and mouthfeel. Step 4. Aging the mixture, enhancing flavor and texture. After homogenization, the mix is transferred to aging tanks and stored at a cold temperature, 2 to 5 degrees Celsius or 35 to 41 degrees Fahrenheit for 4 to 24 hours. Why is aging important? Well, it allows stabilizers and emulsifiers to fully activate. This process improves the whipping ability of the ice cream during the freezing process. Plus, it enhances the overall flavor of the final product. Step 5. Adding flavors and colors. Once the base mixture has aged, natural or artificial flavors and colors are added. This step depends on the type of ice cream being produced. For vanilla ice cream, vanilla extract or vanilla bean is added. For chocolate ice cream, cocoa powder or melted chocolate is mixed in. And for strawberry ice cream, strawberry puree and sometimes food coloring are added. Some factories use natural fruit extracts and purees, while others use artificial flavors for consistency. Step 6. Freezing and air incorporation, creating the right texture. The flavored ice cream mix is now sent to a continuous freezer, which chills it to about minus 5 degrees Celsius or 23 degrees Fahrenheit. Why air incorporation matters? The machine whips air into the mix, a process known as overrun. Air makes ice cream light and fluffy instead of dense and hard. The amount of air added affects the quality premium ice creams have less air and are denser, while cheaper brands have more air and feel lighter. Example, overrun levels, premium ice cream 20 to 50% air, denser, creamier, standard ice cream 50 to 90% air, lighter texture. Step 7. Adding mix-ins, chocolate chips, nuts, cookies, etc. At this stage, solid mix-ins such as chocolate chips, caramel swirls, cookie dough, fruit chunks, or nuts are added using a mixing machine. The factory ensures that these ingredients are evenly distributed so every scoop contains the right balance of mix-ins. Step 8. Molding and Packaging. The semi-frozen ice cream is then transferred into molds, cartons, or containers. Depending on the product type, different packaging methods are used. Tubs and cartons. Ice cream is filled into plastic or cardboard containers. Ice cream bars. The mix is poured into molds, then sticks are inserted before freezing. Soft serve ice cream, stored in specialized machines for direct dispensing. The packaging process is fully automated. After packaging, the ice cream goes through a blast freezer at minus 40 degrees Celsius or minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit to harden quickly. This quick freezing process is crucial. It prevents large ice crystal formation which can make ice cream grainy. It locks in the smooth and creamy texture and ensures a longer shelf life. After hardening, the ice cream is stored at minus 25 degrees Celsius or minus 13 degrees Fahrenheit until it's ready for distribution.
Once the ice cream is fully hardened, it is packed into refrigerated trucks and transported to grocery stores, supermarkets, and ice cream parlors. Factories ensure strict temperature control throughout this process. Ice cream must be stored at minus 18 degrees Celsius or 0 degrees Fahrenheit, or colder to prevent melting and freezer burn. Some ice cream brands use cold chain logistics to maintain quality during transport. Before ice cream is shipped out, it must go through strict quality control checks to ensure it meets safety and taste standards. Samples are tested for bacteria and other contaminants. The texture and consistency are checked to make sure the ice cream has the right creaminess, without large ice crystals. Experts taste test batches to ensure flavor accuracy. Packaging must contain the correct amount of ice cream. This is important because it ensures consumer safety and prevents contamination. It maintains consistency across all batches and prevents defects, such as improper mixing or air incorporation. After passing quality control, ice cream containers are labeled with important details, such as the brand name and flavor, which helps customers recognize the product. The ingredients and nutritional facts are listed including allergens and calories. The manufacturing and expiry date ensure freshness. Storage instructions usually advise keeping the ice cream at minus 18 degrees Celsius, or 0 degrees Fahrenheit, or below. Some brands add barcodes and QR codes on labels for tracking and digital marketing. Once labeled, the ice cream is moved to refrigerated warehouses before being loaded onto cold storage trucks for transportation. Ice cream is stored at minus 25 degrees Celsius, or minus 13 degrees Fahrenheit, to prevent melting. GPS tracking and temperature monitoring ensure consistent cooling during transit. Ice cream is delivered to grocery stores, supermarkets, and parlors across different regions. Did you know? If ice cream melts and refreezes, it forms large ice crystals which ruin its smooth texture. This is why factories carefully maintain freezing temperatures. Finally, ice cream reaches stores where it is stored in freezer sections of supermarkets, sold in ice cream parlors and restaurants, served as soft serve or scooped ice cream in dessert shops. Customers can now buy and enjoy the ice cream. Ingredient selection and mixing, pasteurization, heating to kill bacteria, homogenization, breaking down fat for smooth texture, aging the mixture, enhancing flavor and texture, adding flavors and colors, freezing and air incorporation, making it creamy, adding mix-ins like chocolate chips, adding mix-ins like nuts, adding mix-ins and more, molding and packaging, hardening, freezing at minus 40 degrees Celsius, storage and distribution, quality control and testing, labeling and expiry date stamping, distribution and cold chain logistics, retail sale and customer enjoyment, now the ice cream is ready to delight customers worldwide. Once the ice cream reaches consumers, manufacturers collect customer feedback to improve future production. Companies analyze customer reviews, social media comments, and sales data to understand preferences. Based on feedback, brands create new flavors or improve existing recipes. If customers report texture issues or melting problems, factories adjust production methods. Many brands focus on eco-friendly packaging and reducing carbon footprints. This helps brands stay competitive and meet consumer expectations, ensures continuous innovation in flavors and textures, maintains customer trust and brand loyalty. Thank you for watching.